Hello everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial and today I want to talk about a seemingly simple concept but something that will definitely speed up your workflow when you're doing audio post-production in Adobe Audition. So if you've worked with any Adobe products, you're very familiar with probably the layout of things here. You can customize your workspace and do all this fun stuff, but getting familiar with the windows is a big part of working efficiently in any software, NLE, audio, or otherwise. So in most post-production software applications, you have something like this, which is a place where all of your files live. And that is where you can access those files to work within your project. So let's say I downloaded a bunch of sound effects and I'm going to use them in this project. And I would open up a window or a browser of some sort and then just drag them in to my files panel. And now I can go through and bring them into a new project or into a new sequence, insert into a multi-track sequence, or just to open a new file. And that's great, but what if I'm using a bunch of different sound effects from a bunch of different places, and I don't want to bring in five folders worth of sound effects? Well, luckily Adobe Audition has that covered. One thing that people comment a lot about in Adobe Audition is the lack of bins or uh, folders and just trying to be organized in a project in addition just seems daunting sometimes because you don't have that option. So in Adobe Premiere Pro, you have the option of making a bin to put files in. You can name those bins. You can make nested sequences. You can make subsequences. You have lots of different ways to stay organized in your project management window. And a lot of people say, well, why doesn't Audition have that? Well, what Audition does have is this powerful media browser. From here, you can access all of your media, change the locations of where to look for that media. And once you've discovered the flexibility of this media browser, you don't ever wanna go back. Rather than importing whole folders worth of sound effects, I can quickly access whooshes, trauma, all the files here. And I have the autoplay option turned on so I can literally hear the sound with one click. And of course I can turn that option off and just click on it and then hit play. I can do that or I can turn on this loop here and let's say I want to hear some of these footsteps from the steps pack and let's check out the puddles here. So I'm gonna turn the autoplay on and then toggle loop playback on and click on a file. And that file will just play continuously until I turn it off. But it's great to know how to navigate the media browser to quickly find the sound effects that I need for the project that I'm working on. And it's also nice having a bunch of sound effects that are as organized as these. Actually, that saves a lot of time as well. So be sure to familiarize yourself with the media browser in Adobe Audition. And if you like this video, hit like. If you have any comments or questions about the things that I've talked about, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this tutorial and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once again, I'm Dan Bernard, and thanks for stopping by.